WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow is up 258 points, about three quarters of a percent. One percent for the S&P. That's 45 points. One and six tenths for the Nasdaq 100. 232. Russell's up six tenths, 13 points. The semis are up uh, about six tenths or 21 points out there. You've got gold trading out at 1920. That's right at support. That's down nine bucks. Silver trading out at 20. 488. That's down 42 pennies. Lights be crude off $2.34. 109.78 is the print there. Let's go figure out what all that means by take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. We can see the ES Mini is trading above the top of its bearish structured weekly profile. Hmm, something to think about. That suggests if we see a close, now it's a weekly profile. It's only Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? I think today's Tuesday. So it really matters where Friday's close is. But nonetheless, it's trading above a key level of resistance. Again, that was the 4480 level. We're trading right now at 4500. Spot volatility, it is targeting the level that we thought that it would, which is that lower Bollinger Band. Still has a little bit of ways to go. Lower Bollinger Band is printing right now at 2221. The spot VIX is trading out at 2298. As long as it continues to move lower, Lower. The S&P, the ES Mini should continue to move higher to sideways. In the case of the NQ, she's up at profile levels, so taking on uh, buyers and sellers. Uh, right now, 14650 is the um, is the center of its daily profile. Price right now is printed at 14616. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's regained its uh, daily profile, but it's also found resistance. So that's at, at this descending trend line. So it really has kind of a neutral signal, neutral to bearish, I would say, but neutral. Neutral overall, because price is also holding the bottom of that profile, as is gold. You can see we've seen a push below 1920.60, but as long as that level holds and it's a bullish structured profile, it's doing what it's supposed to do. In the case of silver, it's trading into a rising trend line, just slightly below the bottom of its daily profile. The bottom of that profile is 24.97. Now, if price were to close below that rising trend line, that could signal move back to the 22.58, 23.12 level. Not until we see that. If you take a look at Lightspeed Crude, it is trading above. It closed above yesterday the top of its new daily profile. It's pulling back inside there right now, so not really clear what it wants to do. It looks like a breakout in natural gas, but truly it needs to close above $5.19. And the 30-year Treasury getting trashed again, but today I believe is bar number 9 of a TD9 count. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Look forward to seeing you again soon.